and personal review of one Mike Reiner. <laughs> what did you, hey, what did you think of the Mike Reiner concert, Mom? Ooh. I thought it was great. I do, too. Isn't he a good rock star? Yes. I thought he was awesome. He sounds kind of like Tom Perry. And oh. his girlfriend is awesome. What, what was your favorite song? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I was never into music. <laughs> Period. You know, my music was uh, Frank Sinatra. But you were into it. Dean Martin. See, what's and, wrong with that? You know, it was good. Mom, do you think Reiner's hot? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I think so, too. Yeah. Oh, I He's think a good-looking he guy, right? Yes, he is. He's a dream boat. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah, and if I was single, I might just... Hmm, question. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? No. He's a uh, rock star. No. no, you know who I would... Uh, go for <laughs> is um, Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> I'll give you that. I'll give you that one. That's the best. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a local sports tie. <laughs> <laughs> to bite his, to bite his last you, name. You're going to hell for I this. I know, by man. Why? Does, does, doesn't. What's just, that? Doesn't feel right. No. Did you get her permission ahead of time? Yeah. <laughs> no, oh. you did. No, you did not. Man, she has been on a million times. She loves all this. Yes, but what's wrong with any of that? But what was? Well, first of all, it's illegal. Second of all, it's immoral. Not against family. That's in writing. But besides those two things, what's wrong with yeah, it, Gordon? Outside of legal and morally, right? It, it's not wrong. Well, then we're good. Thank you. <laughs> She's hilarious. She She's according to the lot. rules of hell, and it's okay. She didn't. Uh, she will have no problem with that. That's funny. Who's she, the other girl? The other girl was slurring more than yeah. your mom was. Um, my wife was in there. Oh no, Cash's, oh. Cash's wife was in there. Well, which one was the? I'm not oh, sure. <laughs> they were both talking. Yeah, they were both in there. You mean you can't tell the two wives apart? Well, I don't the know same which one. A you're... lot of people can't tell you two guys apart. <laughs> right. Everyone is twins. No, I don't know which one you're referring. Were to. Were they both speaking in this audio we heard? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Everyone seemed to. The first to have had girl a really that good spoke time. that was not your mom was really slurring. That was Liz. Was it? Yeah. Okay, that was my wife then. Oh. Not yes. mad at me, huh? Not mad at me either. Well, she doesn't just remember anything. To expand my betrayal too. No, she just. <laughs> there, there's no way that any of the experiences that were uh, that took place in that car ride were committed to her memory. No, 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 they, no, no. They were just not <laughs> okay. written on her but hard drive. Luckily, an American hero saved them via audio for everyone to enjoy. Is what you're saying? You did say America? I can't really go against that <laughs> I can't now. Do that. You, you force know, fielded. <laughs> I've never had drinks with my mom. And no, you never gone out I'd and got blasted with your mom never and da danced the night away? Ever yeah. will. To petty theft? Ever. And then quiz your mom about if she's sexually attracted right, to the lead to my singer. coworker. We said, is he good looking? That's different. You're uh, escalating it to sexually attractive. She I said. Like, uh, it's almost sounded like she, at first she wanted to say she'd jump on that and then she... Uh, yeah. Oh, how did she reward deferred. it? I don't yeah. appreciate. Don't go after that. Oh, I don't go appreciate after. what you guys are implying that she's talking about. Well, she's had some white Russians. What do you, what know, do you think they do to people? Do you know your mother's body count? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Sir. What an awful question that is. And you are. Yet you know it's what? an important question. You are from an American invited hero. to be excused right now. <laughs> Does anyone in America know no. their mom's body okay, count? Stop that. Yes. I think the people should know it. Just like that's a month or two and after Birds and the Bees. And your mom's interesting. How long has it been since your father passed? Uh, 1997. And did she date years. for a long time after that? Like how soon before? Because she remarried, right? She did remarry. Uh, she dated, I would think, uh, two years after that. Maybe she was dating someone and then remarried a couple years after that. So do you know if she dated around a lot? Did you have a good sense? Before? Of uh, before and then after your I don't dad's think passing. after, no, I don't think quite a, quite a lot after. I, I mean, I really... But before she really got around? Jordan? <laughs> 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 like, do not know, sir. How about you? Well, you want me Is to it? ask her? I can ask her for you. How about you? 
Was your mom a whore? Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh. I can play. Um, I don't think that's, I can play. that's, that's not so I much can play crazy. As, uh... <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, that is essentially what you just asked. No. Yes. Not really. Yes, it is. No, not really. But. Oh, no. Hmm. Uh, it is 1024. That may have been. Uh... <laughs> oh, now that you got to process nice. everything in your mind. Been nice working with you, Mike. That might have been yeah. a bit of a heater. I'd like to apologize <laughs> hmm. for that. But you were asking me if my mom was. No. Yes, you were. You if can't say that you were. I would have said those words. Those words were available to me as well, and I didn't choose well, them. Well, you're way better at this than me. And I have a no, feeling I won't, necessarily. Be, I won't be doing it much longer after this. <laughs> so, All right. The next segment on Boom in the House <laughs> oh, with Donovan and my uh, machine will be uh, <laughs> talking about the college football playoffs. Who made it and who didn't? Next. <laughs> Uh, any info outcome on the Gordon and Sroy beef and yeah. queso? And um, queso? What is I that? think he just meant beef and Oh, beef funny. and queso, okay. Yeah. Um, that's up to you. That's up for Mike to decide. Um, you know, not too much to report, but I mean, it's it's so weird how people th- think things are either bits or whatever. It's like, I mean, we're fucking all real, mm-hmm. saying real things, and, you know, just like in your life sometimes you say things you shouldn't have or sh- you know they come out different or oh that was a little harsher than it should have been whatever mm-hmm. i mean that does happen here and it's not like everything's a bit and it's like it's like we discuss this like hey let's do this in this upcoming segment no shit mm-hmm. just fucking happens i mean i you know basically what happened was he was saying shit about my family and my mom which i'm not going to sit here and be like you don't talk about my family because that's not me like right. say what you want i can handle anything mm-hmm. um but he was you know, he said some pretty fucking aggressive things that, again, I was not offended by at all. Mm-hmm. And if that came off as that, who knows? But I did re- return the serve like Andre Agassi cross court as hard as I could. And I said something that probably that it, even when it crossed my lips felt a little too harsh for a response, basically. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was, you know, he asked my mom's body count. And he yeah. asked, you know, how long after my dad died, she started dating mm-hmm. and and how often and said, and did, you know, your, your mom who got around. Yeah. And then I said, oh, well, let me ask you, is your was your mom a whore? Mm-hmm. Um, his was delivered a lot more softly for sure. Yeah. Mine was uh, the point of it. If there's comedy to it, which is hard to find, is that, you know, you you double down harder. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, that was the point of it is to basically say what, what he's saying about my mom mm-hmm. more directly, Yeah, which is exactly what I did. I mean, he took it very badly, mm-hmm. um, which I can understand because that's On a hell of a- wasn't that bad. Uh, yeah, but he was mad. And whenever I listened back to it, it wasn't like I was sitting there, obviously, Yeah, behind him and looking at both of you. And I felt worse at that moment than I did whenever I listened back to it on air. Okay. I heard you heard you guys replay it on Not yeah. A Podcast uh-huh. and- it was. I was like cringing when I I heard you tease, mm-hmm. and I knew it was going to be played. And I was like, because I hadn't listened to it once, and I was cringing. And yeah. you're right. I don't think it sounded that bad either. No, oh, any of it. His because reaction, I, the tension afterward. But I mean, it was yeah. all very fucking real. Yeah. I followed him out of studio, and I sincerely apologized to his face. Mm-hmm. He was sort of mad. He's like, "Well, are you apologizing, or are you making an excuse for it?" I'm like, uh, "If it's an excuse to say that you did." bring up my dad See now you apologize that's how that works yeah but that's not how at least from his side any of this was you know and we we didn't talk that's, not, that's really weird he was he said that he thought i meant it maliciously what the f- but again i'm not gonna i think the biggest issue with it is that i i mean i, I see gordon every single day we yeah. talk yeah i wouldn't say we're friends mm-hmm. and i would love to be but it's just his personality my personality i mean it's like we're not just gonna hang out and Mm -hmm. have a beer or anything like that so i also am quite sure he doesn't listen to a whole lot of the station yeah i don't think he's ever heard cirque de soroy or (laughs) or uh, it's hard to say the guy doesn't know me who i've known for eight years oh he doesn't but i don't think he really knows me and i think if you know me you know that i would never say something like that maliciously Mm -hmm. the x factor in all this is that his mom just passed away in the last year I didn't think that in the flash before I asked the question. Mm-hmm. I regret how I worded it. I don't regret like the circumstances in which I said it, but I, <laughs> it's easy to say I regret how he took it. Yeah, you just regret then, the feelings that it, it stirred up in him. Exactly. That's all you regretted. We had a pretty, a very long text conversation just Saturday mm-hmm. because like, honestly, I felt like shit all week. 
Yeah. Like I don't care what the reasoning or if, if it was my fault, which it it, it partially was. Yeah. If if it was his fault for opening Pandora's box of, I felt like it was kind of like your mama jokes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't feel like it was anything. It's you put me malicious. in this uncomfortable position. Let me put you in this uncomfortable that's position. That's sort of that's what I felt like it was. Yeah. He he took it a lot worse than that. And yeah. I mean, this is it's real. Like he's yeah. he was really was I don't know if mad or sad at me and and. Mm. The fact that I made somebody feel bad for even a second is like not my jam. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Certainly somebody I care about and certainly someone's my fucking hero like Gordon is. So mm-hmm. like it was a really shitty week. I felt really guilty. And then on Twitter, a lot of people and again, Twitter has been, I won't say on my side of this, but they were all sort of like, dude, he's doing this little red riding hood thing where he brings this up and then you say this and then he's like, oh my God. Right. And I do get, I do get all that. And mm-hmm. a, a lot of people were commenting, and I responded to a couple. I'm like, "Hey, man, thanks. It was still just an ill, uh, ill, or a bad choice of words and timing, whatever." Right. And then he responded to one like, "Oh, so you're, uh, it's, it's odd. You're, yeah, you're odd. Thanking you're thanking these guys them for this something. interesting position." I so that led me to be like, "All right, fuck this. I'm gonna stop feeling bad about this. I'm not, I'm right. not, not fuck him." But I was like, so I started texting him immediately. I took yeah. some, these huge texts of like, "Dude." Yeah. This, 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 is this. I mean, very long. Yeah. And then he responded way longer than me even. Yeah. Sort of responding to everything that I had texted him. I'm not going to get into the specifics. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, I appreciate, I guess, the dialogue of hashing it out. I'm, it's really unfortunate that it happened. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know that I feel like I, w- again, I was, I was wrong. I was wrong in that it made him feel bad. I, I thought it was th- within the sort of joking conversation that we were having Mm -hmm. um i feel terrible that he took it the way he did and if it was again malicious i don't think that's me and i didn't mean it like that Mm -hmm. ever and i didn't think of his mom passing away somewhat recently before i said it yeah i mean and that's what really makes it it feel bad and i mean if the end result of this is that i feel like a terrible person for a few days that is what happened um I'm I'm sorry that any of it fucking happened, but then I could also say, well, I didn't bring this shit up. Yeah. You know, like I didn't bring up this mm-hmm. fucking, like if I just out of, and I wrote that in the text to him, like imagine had I brought up your father passing away, your mom's dating history, yeah. like that would have fucking been real smooth. Yeah. You know, like wh- why are we all different that mm-hmm. had I said any of that, just that would have been like the flip, least appropriate fucking thing yeah, in the world. Just flip the positions and that conversation does not even get to the second point. Right. Because... He would have gotten either uncomfortable or appalled or some level. But the of... argument there is that I had just played audio of my mom. It's not like he was playing audio of his family. And like I have a different relationship with my mom yeah. and my brother. Fuck, I have a show with my brother. Right. I'm very open, and I've said before I'm unoffendable. So mm-hmm. I think we can joke about. You know, if you want to tell a, a, a good joke about my dad, I'm not saying I won't appreciate it. I mean, right. you know, I don't, as long as you're not like being fucking malicious and right. terrible yeah. when you do it. No one's ever once done that. I didn't do it in that case. I think it came off like that to him mm-hmm. and maybe to only him because, again, the feedback from you and I asked Donovan, who's in the room, I'm like, right when he walked out, I'm like, dude, was that fucking bad? He's like, dude, no. Mm-hmm. He's like, you you swung back when no. he was swinging on you. Yeah. But all that said, I, I am sorry I said it. It's a bad fucking sentence. And I will admit, the minute it crossed my lips, I was like, fuck, that didn't feel very good. Yeah. Even though if it was within the joking or whatever. So I, I've apologized to him on numerous occasions. Some people are like, you shouldn't apologize. He asked for it with what he was saying. Mm. I, I hear you. Doesn't matter. I know when I s- feel bad when I say something and no input from Twitter or Reddit or anything changes that I knew right when I said it. I'm like, I shouldn't have said that to yeah. somebody I care about. Right. Even the, even if it was a fucking joke. So I don't know what, you know, what else, what the question even was. But I mean, that's been like m- the number one thing in my mind for the last week. And it was very fucking real. Yeah. If there's any fucking doubt on that. Um. Yeah. yeah I, I. I. I wish it hadn't happened, and I frankly don't know where we stand. I mean, he's accepted my apology via text. We're cool. Uh huh. Um, but I feel like it's the kind of thing he's never gonna forget when he looks at me, and that's I'm like, that seems. I don't want to fucking you know. But that's how it goes, man. If somebody if somebody does something that feels so wrong to you, whether or not what why they did it or what their intention was mm-hmm. or the fact they were just fucking joking or they thought they were within the right to say it. I've had things said to me that I will never forget the person who said it. Yeah. And granted, they were a lot harsher than this. Oh, of course. And like, re- like real. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like he, he may never look at me and not think of that. And I, I really do feel fucking sad about that, even though I meant nothing, right. nothing malicious or bad when I said it. Right. I mean, it's the ultimate. <laughs> 
it's the ultimate like rock and a hard place situation that he, that he puts you in. And if he doesn't apologize for like putting you in that situation and uh, leading up to that moment, then no progress gets made. Like, well, his main point when I brought kind of that up was that yeah. you can do things eloquently. You can had you said, had, "Oh, did your mom used to get around?" Like you know, he made some, he, he wrote some funny lines that would have fit what he thought was the playful uh-huh. dialogue we were having. But I think, like, my point is the joke, if you want to call it that, was coming over the top. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. so, I I compl- and I wrote. I'm like, I meant it playfully, even though like. Mm-hmm. please believe that like no matter what you're you know yeah it's a weird the, spot man i don't I, you know it's a it's a weird thing that happened this week i'm I'm sorry it did yeah i didn't i mean i like you back me up donovan did i haven't run into anyone who's like you know what you're a real fucking asshole yeah not one person and, and i imagine there's some that think that well but, there's there's a lot of history there too <laughs> with gordon doing this exact same thing and the other option is to just like lay there and take it yeah, and I don't know. I don't need to be tough guy at all, but yeah. I, I'm, I mean, we've had a few little like fun, mm-hmm. t- you know, tete a tetes on the radio before, and I, I enjoy them. Yeah, and I don't want to be somebody who's he's just going to steamroll. Yeah, on the air, I, and it's maybe just not my personality. And I'm not. It's not like tough guy. It's just like you got to stand up for yourself. And mm-hmm. uh, you know, I, I mean, he's at, he was asking that shit originally to make me or make. Uh, you know the yeah. conversation uncomfortable, which is also a great fucking radio thing. Yeah. But then the overall fucking thing is it was probably good radio because it was real tension. Yeah. And this is fucking uh-huh. WWE that we're in. Are you not entertained? People want fucking yeah the the blur between real and fake and like oh wait does this person really fucking hate this person that's why like TC and I have like the greatest relationship and I don't mean <laughs> it like friends yeah I mean we have like the greatest on air relationship like I right. me and TC had a great conversation today and uh-huh. you know that shit blew up last week with our the the e break thing and all even that blown up that was that was more like yeah it but was everyone's funnier. like oh my god oh and it's like <laughs> we're friends yeah we don't hang out yeah we we're, we definitely have issues with each other mm-hmm. but it doesn't mean I don't love the kid yeah but i i, I think that's I don't, it's not ever fake but I think it's good radio when we're like i'm you know like I will say what's on my fucking mind he for sure will mm-hmm. and uh if the worst thing is like some radio tension I think that adds to the fucking delicious fucking flavor of the ticket oh it's dude it's any day five times better to have tension on air than off air <laughs> right like you know what I mean yeah like and you're gonna have you work with somebody enough that you have a uh, an opposite alignment from, um, yeah. Whatever it may be. Oh, very I mean, much so, man. You know what I mean. And there's going to be tension. I'd, I'd rather it be on air. Yeah. Like then something you're just stewing over for months at a time. And yeah, yeah, just exactly. In person, it's weird. You know what I mean. Like I think, I think TC and I love each other, but we don't like each other. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. I, whatever the fuck that means. Yeah. No, I, I that that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> You know? Mm-hmm. No, and I mean, just recently over the last year or two, me and him have become like actual what I would consider friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it took a really fucking long time, and I have a feeling a lot of the relationships in his life take that yeah, amount of time. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Um, And I'm not saying that's wrong or right. It's just how it works out. Yeah. It's just the, the ecosystem we we're surviving in. Right. And um, yeah, I didn't, I felt bad for you. On the Gordon thing? Yes. Because I know how serious you take that kind of shit, like hurting somebody else, like actually hurting someone else's feelings. Yeah. And I don't know that I would have done anything different. I might have said something worse. I might have said, Gordon, shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> like, but, that's, but to that's say enough. that, I would have had to actually been mad, you know, and I wasn't. Yeah. yeah. But I was processing what he was saying, and yeah. I, I just, I simplified what mm-hmm. he was saying and changed the question back to him. Yeah. And to him that came off as a, a, a terrible thing. And that's a, that's a little bit of a narcissistic thing. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Tur- turnabout's fair play. I'm sorry. Yeah. Especially when you're doing a bit on radio and you're diving into a segment that you're not on, it's not your show and you don't understand the context of what got, just got played. Right. And you're trying to stand up for Vida or I don't even know but what the But even fuck saying, oh, it's sorry was. to play that audio. It's like, all no, right. It's not. And I was even like, all right, that's a weird, like, negative. Yeah. Like, why couldn't we just laugh at this? This is funny. Right. Yeah. But it's like to take it there, like, fine. But then it's like it gets into dating and, and uh, I mean, did she get around? Yeah. 
That's, no, I mean, it's the he, same question. Did, I just did, did you know her body count is where it started? Like yeah. that's that's already like all right, man. Like you got your cheap laugh. Like we're good. We're good on that front. Yeah, move on. But I don't know. I felt bad for you. Like I didn't. And I mean, I'm, I'll take your side twenty times out of twenty with yeah. it when it comes to somebody that isn't in our yeah no I immediate get it. immediate family. But if I'm wrong, I'm fucking wrong. And I think you would tell me if I was wrong. It's yeah, not like you would hate me for it. But yeah, I, I just I don't know. I'm I just wish it hadn't happened. I guess the way I wish it hadn't happened. Honestly, yeah. no, I wish it didn't. I wish none of it happened. Yeah, but if he's not admitting any fault in this, well, he's not. But the other problem is I'm not. Well, I'm not sad about you, anything. Yeah, you don't I'm want your, you don't want your pound of flesh. Like he doesn't yeah. need to apologize to anything. I just want him to not or mm-hmm. to understand that I would never mean, you know, like Yeah. Like I yeah. want him I, like I want him not to be mad at me. Yeah, for like, sure. Like I'm not mad at him for anything, so that's why I don't feel like an apology is required, but I would yeah. I guess I would have liked him to acknowledge that he set us walking down the path that led to what I did, but mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I fucking asked the dude if his mom's a whore. That's a pretty. You that's know, not something you ever want to do necessarily. That's what I'm saying. But, so yeah. uh, you know, what yeah. do you fucking do, man? I, I'm just, think I think I was more disappointed by his his Twitter reactions. Yeah, I was like, please stop, please just stop tweeting people about this. Just and I'm reading it, and I was texting yeah. him, and then eventually I went on twi- on Twitter, and I'm like, yeah. dude, read your text. Yeah, and then he's even like, oh, phone's in the other room. Yeah, I was because a part of the text was like, dude, I'm trying to handle this on text and not on yeah. fucking Twitter. But I mean, if you want, right? Yeah, I didn't. I. My respect meter started shaking like yeah. Yeah. I was like it, it wasn't having a good time. I was like, get the fuck off Twitter if you're genuinely hurt about something. See, but like in this case, you know me better than almost anybody. He doesn't really know me. Yeah. So I can't be mad at him for being offended by something that I said. I guess if you don't know me or don't know where I'm coming from, mm-hmm. d- even though you know he he may have set things in motion, whatever the hell that even means. So you know. Yeah, it's it's over Whatever. again. I've I've apologized to him. Mm-hmm. He's accepted it. Uh, we're good. Yeah. And the truth is, I mean, I don't know that we're ever going to be fucking best friends anyway. Prior sure. to this, mm-hmm. so that's what I eventually told myself after a couple of days. I'm like, what am I fucking so beat up for? You know, like, yeah. I, I mean, you didn't just like lose a friend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I consider him a friend, but yeah, you know, it's I don't know. It just it's unfortunate.